Here's how you can easily set up a fully functioning multiplayer project in under 5 minutes with an online server that anybody can connect to. This video is sponsored by Alteruna Multiplayer, but they are not forcing me to say anything positive nor negative about the solution. More about that in the end of the video. Let's go. Firstly, you need to set up your Unity project and name it whatever you'd like. You also need to go to the Alteruna Asset Store and add it completely for free. Link in the description. You can now go and open it in Unity in your package manager, download it and import it into your project. Alright, once we've imported the Alteruna system, we can go on to actually start with the network. So first things first, let's create a network manager. You can call it whatever, but I prefer network manager. And in here you can add the multiplayer component. Then you click generate new application ID and boom, you're connected to their server. Now if you go into the Alteruna folder and into prefabs, they have this room menu folder which we can just drag and drop in here. And now you actually have a functioning lobby system. If you want to start it playing here, it's now connected to the IP address and to the port. And I can click start and I'm now in a new room called Foolish Buffalo that other instances of the game will now be able to see over the network. As you can see, it just shows up in the list here. Now let's just set up a test scene that we can then use to play around with. So this is going to be a first person game, so I'm just going to make a very quick scenery. Alright, now that I've set up all of my test scenery, let's move on to setting up the actual player and walking around. So what we do first, I'm just going to create an empty and I'm going to call this player. This empty, I'm just going to null the position and space. And then from here, let me add a capsule to it so that we can have a little bean character. I'm going to call this body and I'm going to make the scale of it 0.5 on the X and Z. And then I'm just going to go onto the player and add a character controller. And of course, the radius of this also got to be half, so that's 0.25. And then on the body, actually, let's also just set up some quick visor so that we can see which direction he's looking set these at the front of him and let's give the player material as well. Now that this base setup is done, let's get to adding the multiplayer component. So first of all, we want him to be able to change his position in multiplayer. For this, we simply just add a transform synchronizable and that handles the rest of it. You can see we also got to assign the unique ID and then we also got to assign the Alteruna avatar to him. And this is basically it. Now, all we need to do is just make the script. So let me just make a new script folder and let's make the script that I'm going to call player controller. So here I just have my base setup of what would be a functioning single player player controller. So you can use any movement script you basically like and adapt it very easily. So let me show you how. What you firstly got to do is we want to get the alteruna.avatar and I'm just going to call it underscore avatar. Then in the start function we can say the avatar is equals to get component and then the avatar component which we added so alteruna.avatar now that we've gotten this component we can actually stop it from running the rest if we are not the owner of the object ownership is something you've got to realize when you join with a connection you can own an object it can be your object and obviously you own your own player character and other pl and you don't own other players player character so what we do is we can say if underscore avatar dot is me and this basically means that we only uh, this only returns true if we do own the object. Now we can reverse this, say if I do not own the object, I just want to return. Return basically means that we leave the function immediately. Now we can actually copy this code and put it down into the update loop as well. And anywhere that basically runs and just first of all check before we do anything, well, am I the owner of this object? And this is it. I know it seems too good to be true, but this just works. So let's go test it. So now, of course, I need to add the script to the player and I can just set the variables how I like them. So before we go test it, what we also got to do is we're going to make a prefab folder. I'm just going to call it underscore prefab. And in here we put our player and then delete the player from the scene. Now we also need a spawn point object. So I'm just going to make a new object, call it spawn point and just put it where I want the player to spawn. And then we go into the network manager. We can say automatically spawn avatar and we can drag the player into here. And then we can also drag the spawn point into here. And this should just work. Now let's build it and test. Well, something that's very important to note when you build it, if you go into player settings, uh, you should be able to go into resolution and presentation and click run in background. This means that you can synchronize in the background and I don't want it to be full screen either. Now that it's done building, let's run it in the Unity instance. So I'm just gonna start the game here. And as you can see, I can walk around, everything works just fine. Now let me open up the build it instance, as you can see here. And now in the server list, you can see I have the cooperative orangutan. I can click join and now I'm in here and as you can see I'm moving perfectly fine around here and if we go over here and I move around you can see I move around perfectly fine here. You might have noticed that he wasn't in the beginning this is something I've already spoken to them about and they are fixing but as you can see here everything just works it's synchronizing fine 
the player can move around and we now have functioning multiplayer. As mentioned in the beginning, this video was sponsored by Alteruna. That being said, they have not asked me to speak about their project in any specific way. So far, they have been great working with and seem to really care for the project. They have their own Discord server, which I will also link to in the description. The reason why I took the sponsorship is because I really like their business model. It is completely free for you to get started using their service and will not cost you a single dollar unless you choose to upgrade. You will also get unlimited users and rooms on your servers, and the only thing limiting you is the data bandwidth, which they provide plenty of for free as well. Overall I think Alteruna is a super neat solution and I'm very interested in reading the comments to hear what you guys think. I will be reading and responding to every single comment, and also feel free to join my Discord community. We have surpassed 230 members and are well on our way to 300. If you enjoyed the video, a like, subscribe and a comment is very much appreciated, and I just hope that you have a wonderful day.